फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन शूज बायोलॉजी टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट यू बायोटिक सेल सेल इज अ स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ मेनली सेल आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल्स एंड यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स इन प्रीवियस सम वीडियोस वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल्स एंड टुडे एंड इन सम अपकमिंग वीडियोस वी डिस्कस अबाउट द यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स eukaryotic cells are advanced type of cells and they are originated from the prokaryotic cells eukaryotic cells are consist of the well membrane cell organelles with cell nucleus and nuclear membrane these are separates the genetic material from the cytoplasm and in eukaryotic cells mainly compartmentalization is occur compartmentalization of cytoplasm means different kind of organelles or different kind of cyto uh, compartments are occurring cytoplasm and in the eukaryotic cells there are multicellular organisms are present in which this eukaryotic cells are present like the protist then fungi animals and plants i have already drawn the structure of this is a animal cell and this is a plant cell so animal cell is a smaller in size than the plant cell and different cell organelles are present within eukaryotic cells like nucleus then golgi body then eukaryotic endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes vacuoles then all other things and this is a plasma membrane the animal cell covers this boundary is known as a plasma membrane also in plant cell beneath the cell or this blackish boundary is known as the plasma membrane or cell membrane it is a living and then cell wall cell wall is present only in plant cell and fungus cell in animal cell cell wall is absent then and cell wall is a dead this is a endoplasmic reticulum attached to the nucleus here also present then the mitochondria chloroplast then this is a golgi all these things but this endoplasmic reticulum golgi body then lysosomes and vacuoles are connected to interconnected to each other that's why they are involved in endomembrane system this endoplasmic reticulum and golgi apparatus is involved in transport of protein to their appropriate destination then the lysosomes are helpful in digestion of macromolecules then vacuoles these are the vacuoles smaller in size present in the animal cells and many and many vacuoles are present in animal cells in plant cells large central vacuole is present and because of this centrally present vacuole other cell organelles of plant cells are pushed towards the periphery of cell and in animal cell this vacuoles are temporary and in plant cell vacuoles are permanent then the lysosomes lysosomes are helpful in digestion then chloroplast and mitochondria they are helpful in energy metabolism so mitochondria is this is a mitochondria this is mitochondria is present in both the animal cell and plant cell mitochondria is generate the atp and that's why is known as the power house of cell then the chloroplast in plant cell chloroplast is present chloroplast in animal cell is absent in chloroplast they are helpful in photosynthesis and also produce the energy then these are the ribosomes small granular structures within the cytoplasm and also attached to the endoplasmic reticulum is known as the ribosomes and ribosomes helps in the protein synthesis then centrioles and centrosomes are present in the animal cell only and in plant cells lacks the 
centrosomes or centrioles. Then nucleus. So mainly these cells are classified on the basis of presence or absence of nucleus. In prokaryotic cells, totally absence of nucleus, nucleoid is present, and in eukaryotic cell, the well-developed nucleus is present. So of course, in those animal and plants, the nucleus is present, and nucleus is known as a brain of cell because it regulates all the cell activities. Then cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is helpful in the shape of cell to give the structural support to the cell. Then, like this, plant cells and animal cell may cause are different hai, ki in both plasma membrane is present, but cell all present hota hai only in plant cell. Then, in animal cell, vacuoles are smaller in size and temporary. Then, in plant cell, vacuoles are larger in size and permanent. Then another difference is chloroplast. Chloroplast is present in plant cell and chloroplast is absent in animal cell. Then fourth one is centrioles are present in only animal cell and absent in plant cell. So this is the basic information about the eukaryotic cells. Then one by one we discuss karenge each and every cell organelle in detail in next videos. So thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel.